In this video I want to talk about the new sketch solver and a necessary workaround when working with imported DXF. In comparison to the old solver, still the sketch solver, the new one, has some disadvantages and a workaround is required that does not really cost more time than when using, in comparison, the old solver. So it's not a real disadvantage. Anyway, I want to show you this workaround because still it's necessary. I'm working with a release 2306. Two releases before this was not possible. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from Bizlearn. Hi and welcome to a brand new video tutorial concerning the latest Siemens NX release 2306 sketch solver. I want to show you how the behavior now is in combination with the sketch groups and therefore I've prepared a use case which is not so new. Approximately 10 years ago, I've released the first video about how to import DXF files. That's what I'm going to do. While file, import AutoCAD DXF, DWG. I want to import into my work part. And for you, below this video, there is a download link for the so-called scale calculator DXF. Y center mouse button, I can finish, double click to fit into my screen. Here it is. This so-called scale calculator I use for each guitar build. 10 years ago, I wanted to demonstrate how the auto constraints and auto dimension in Siemens NX behave and help us to easily create parameters and constraints with just two or three mouse clicks. Now, just let me have a look below file utilities early access feature because there is no ob obviously no information about which solver is active would be nice by the way new sketch solver is enabled currently one of the enhancements in this version by the way is that you can disable the new sketch solver as before without needing to restart that's what I'm gonna do because I want to show you how I have created the auto constraints in the past with the old sketch solver. So I'm going to confirm, create a new sketch on that plane and add the curves. While more, add curves. Add curves is meaning that the curves are cut and pasted into the sketch. So they do no more exist outside of the sketch after using add curves. Control A allows me to select all the curves, center mouse button. Do I want to turn off continuous auto dimensioning? Yes, in that case, because still 146 constraints are remaining. So I'm going to use auto constraint. I'm going to, that's very important to, I'm just going to reset this, to set all the constraints, equal length and equal radius. Settings, apply remote constraints, that's very important. Control A to select all the curves. I'm going to confirm via OK. And still four constraints are remaining. The position needs to be defined. But anyway, I think there must be, there should be a midpoint constraint here, which I'm going to create. The scale calculator, by the way, is used to define the scale distances for my guitars, for my fret slots. Scales on different guitars is different, so I can easily adjust my scale while only one adjustment here and everything remains stable. And the interesting fact here is that these are quadratic shapes, so the length here and here is equal. It's not an equal radius. Just keep in your mind, because now we're going to compare to the new sketch solver and we will need a workaround to solve this, but it's still less clicks than compared to the old sketch solver. So I'm going to finish this. By the way, with the new sketch solver, this is only possible since two releases ago, two major releases ago. When the new sketch solver came out, I had no solution for this problem. I wanted this sketch to be fully defined 
It says under constraint. Now it's fully constrained. Fully constrained, you remember constraints are not relations. This is an indicator for being, by the way, an old sketch of the old type, because it's fully constrained, it's not fully defined. Now I'm going to switch while file utilities, early access feature. Here it is, right click on. There is no restart required, very nice. Besides some other improvements, which I'm going to discuss in separate videos. Today it's about sketch group in order to solve this certain problem. I'm going to import wire file, import in DXF, into my work part, choose file, here it is. I can now confirm wire center mouse button. It's non timestamp geometry, 97 lines and a point. I'm going to create a new sketch, which is now controlled by the new sketch solver. And also here, add curves. By the way, below options, you can see create persistent in display. And there is one renewal about create persistent relation because in the past you had to enable this for each sketch or disable. And now, once you enable the create persistent relation within a part, within a session, it'll be enabled. I don't think we need to create persistent relations here, so I'm going to keep it disabled. We will see. I'm going to add the curse and show you something that was not possible two versions ago in 2206, but in 2012, this is possible. There is no possibility to create the relations. You can try, but it won't be working. You can try using the mechanism mode. This won't solve your problem. I need this to be driving and the only solution here in combination with the new sketch solver because we don't have auto constraints here. And by the way, if you have a look at the relation finder settings, there is equal radius and parallel, but no make equal. There is no equal length listed here. And equal length is important here for the quadratic shapes. There is a solution. You just need to collect the curves, but with an active sketch only. Right click and create a new sketch group. This should be scalable and not be active. If I enable display persistent relations, you can see there is a persistent relation because the scalable sketch group is associative. And the only thing I got to do here is to create one dimension. That's it. Sketch is fully defined. Compared to two major releases before, this was not possible. Sketch is fully defined and in comparison to the old sketch solver, you can see that in the stages column, it's fully constrained and fully defined. So here it is and designated what kind of stages, what kind of sketch is used. And I can double click this one and the old sketcher is used. So it's not converted automatically. Very nice. That's one of the improvements here. So you can maintain two types of sketches in one part. But I mean, you are experienced users, your new colleagues will have to learn to sketchers anyway. Think about it. How can we renew the sketch, meaning this one, with renew feature? To convert the old sketch to a new sketch. You can see only the old sketch solver sketch is recognized. And I've created it both in one session. And my recommendation here is not to renew sketches. It's usually not necessary. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. And if you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Support this channel by watching my video contents. And by the way, the new NX Update Training 
is available. I mean the latest major release 2306 update training available in different languages. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.